changing the order of operation concepts with the game of 24. The game of 24 is a fun way to have your students practice using the order of operations, basic number facts, and correct algebraic notation. In the game of 24, you're given four numbers. You have to combine them using the four basic operations to make 24. Why is this a good activity? It encourages students to use their critical thinking skills. As they try to make 24, they experience trial and error in a low-stress situation, and trial and error is a strategy that's useful throughout algebra. They see that there may be several correct ways to solve a problem, all while they practice their basic arithmetic facts. So how do you play the game of 24? Let's say we were given the numbers 1, 1, 4, and 8. Now most students will start by using two numbers at a time. They'll say 1 plus 1 is 2, 4 plus 8 is 12. And then they'll combine their partial answers to make 24. That's okay to get them started, but once they understand the game, emphasize the use of correct mathematical notation and the order of operations to make one expression that simplifies to 24. Is there a strategy to this game? Yes, think of pairs of numbers whose product is 24, like 2 times 12, 3 times 8, and 4 times 6. Then use the given numbers 1, 1, 4, and 8 to come up with the two factors. We already saw one way to make 2 times 12. How about 3 times 8? Well, we can get 3 from 4 minus 1, then multiply it by 8. What about that last one? We can multiply by it and not change the value of the product. Finally, can we make 4 times 6? Does this expression do it? Can you think of any other ways to make 24 using the numbers 1, 1, 4, and 8? Here are some suggestions for using the game of 24 with your students. The first time I use it in class is right after introducing the order of operations, including the use of parentheses as grouping symbols. It's a fun way for students to practice both writing and using the order of operations. I always have a few sets of 24 numbers with me in class ready to use any time as a filler. Sometimes I have students work them while I take attendance. Sometimes there are a couple of minutes left before the end of class and I have the class play a round or two of 24. The game of 24 works well with students playing individually or with a partner. And I found that by putting a set of 24 numbers as a bonus question on a test or quiz, my students will work and work to get that extra credit couple of points. Where can you find the game of 24? It's sold commercially as the 24 game. It's a box set of cards the cards are grouped by difficulty level, so I usually only take the easiest, the one-dot cards, to class with me. Even then, I make sure I can make 24 for all the cards. The 24 game is also available with exponents and roots if you want to write more advanced mathematical expressions. You can find the 24 game at teacher supply stores and some bookstores and game stores. Or you can Google it and order it online. There's even a 24 game app for smartphones and tablets. And there are many online sites where you and your students can play the 24 game. I really like this math playground version of the game because you actually drag the number cards and the operator symbols together to make one complete expression. I sincerely hope you try the game of 24 with your students. This is Marianne. Goodbye.